Okay, guys, I've just had a delivery in the post. Not very big. What do you think it could be? A CD, perhaps? Yeah, it's the right size for a CD. So, what knife do I have handy? that I can use. This sandy will be the christening of your knife. Put this away so I don't actually cut myself because it is shaving sharp. <clears throat> okay, what do you think it is? Da da da! It's a credit card knife. Card sharp. The Ian Sinclair card sharp. Now uh, one of them is for me, the other one is for a friend of mine, Richard. So, I've got to find the right one, because one is black and the other one is silver. And I know he likes, he has a particular blade at the moment, that um, he likes because it's black. Please read carefully, blah blah blah. Okay, that one looks black. This one will go back into its wrapper. Fact 1. Card Sharp was originally designed as a lightweight surgical knife that can be easily transported and safely disposed of by hospitals and medical centers together with paramedics and aid workers throughout the world without needing expensive and wasteful sharps containers. designed to be small enough to fit in designed to be small enough to fit into your wallet 
like that. It's about the thickness of two cards. There are two cards here. It's got a little locking mechanism just there, and the idea is to put your finger on each side like that and turn, and that allows it to pop out. If you try and do it with one, it, you can do it, but it's um, it's not as easy. So just grip it from both sides. It has one little tab that um, it's one little tab that locks it down as well that on there. Hang on, garbage truck is coming past, so I'll be right back with you. Okay, back to it. Where was I? Okay, so you've got your safety up here, so you can just pinch that on both sides and turn it. And it allows the blade to pop out. The blade then falls right over onto the back. You get the small triangle. Fold that over there. It has five little nibs. The big triangle falls on top of that and locks in place. There's five little nibs, lock into five little holes. But at the same time, you have that initial hole that locked it into the main body. Here, there's another little plastic nib that feeds into that hole. There you go. So there you go. This really is scalpel sharp, so it's not for hard use or anything like that. It is something that you just carry in your wallet as what I classify as a handy little knife in case you need one or an emergency use knife. Now most people would think that going by the design of this, you got jimping up the top and you got this little fold down the bottom, so obviously that's how you're supposed to use it. But if you do that, it does tend to wobble a bit because it's just thin sheets of plastic. So instead of using it this way, I'd be more inclined of holding it in a pinch grip like this. You could pinch grip it like that and keep your finger on top here where the jimping is. But I think like this is probably the best way. Because you're in much better control and you're actually holding the blade rather than holding the plastic handle. <laughs>